Okay, so Logsic is this new tool. Slow down. But it's this new tool, and I don't need a new tool. I've got Obsidian. But it's just like Obsidian. No, it's not. I've already tried it. Oh, how, how did you use it? I tried to put my Obsidian workflow into Logseek. But they're not actually the same. I know, which is why I move things around to sort of figure things out. And the journal is nice in Logseek, but it doesn't do anything that Obsidian doesn't already do, and merging the files was a bit of a hassle. But there is a date picker, scrolling journal... Yeah, true, but the calendar plugin works fine for me, and because I have the dates automatically added, in my daily note I can just go backwards and forwards when I need to anyway. What about the side panels? Well, the left side panel has the Favourites tab, which is basically the Star panel in Obsidian, and then it's also got the Recents tab, which is a plugin you can get in Obsidian, it's a community plugin, which I choose not to use because I don't use the recent tab. The flashcards are nice and Obsidian doesn't have them. True, but if I was going to use flashcards, I'd probably use a flashcard app like Quizlet or Anki or even Remnote, but I don't use flashcards, so the feature is kind of pointless for me. You're just finding problems with it because you're biased. Yeah, and Logseek is behind Obsidian with development, so there are going to be less features and there may be some other buggy issues. Like what? Well, the global graph view is slow to load and reacts sometimes. It also doesn't have the same filters or grouping or display or forces options that you get in Obsidian. Well... It also doesn't show the names when you hover over the notes. Okay, but... Then obviously there's the local graph view. Where it has the same things missing as the global graph view, but also has this weird flickering thing when you hover over the notes. Like you said, they are new and working things out. Very true, and I do like the content page that's in the right side panel. See? But I can do that in Obsidian, and I can do it with any page that I want, as many pages I I wanted, and I guess you could do that in Logseek, but you wouldn't have the same flexibility of moving panels around up and down as easily or make them larger and smaller just from my experience. Well, Logseek was meant as something similar to Rome Researcher, Athens, not Obsidian. True, and very good point, but footnotes, multiple panes, and movable panes would be nice too. Have you tried the slash commands? It gives you loads of other options. Oh, like in Obsidian? No, because there are other things in Logseek. Like... Like the time and date option? True, but that is just text expander and I don't even think about adding dates or times in because it's automatically done through the templates that I use. Okay, what about the task options? Yeah, good point, and if I was to put my tasks in my notes it would be quite useful, but I put all of my tasks in Todoist so I can sync them with Google Calendar and Morgan. What about your writing specific tasks? Well, I have a Kanban board of the notes or papers that I'm going to go over which goes over the stages that the papers are in, if that's what you're talking about, but most of the other tasks that I have, so what I need to do are all in to-do list. I guess priority isn't useful for you either then. Nope. But the query option is something Obsidian certainly doesn't have. Well, Obsidian does have a native query option, but it's not great, uh, which is why DataView would be the plugin that I choose if I do want to use queries, but I don't use them, so again, don't need it. How do you get through your notes without queries then? By using search, so searching for the name of the page, or searching for words in a page, then backlinks, and then my weekly review which goes over all of the things that I've consumed over the week. But surely things get left behind? Yeah, if I don't interact with anything, but any new note that comes in that could relate to any of the older notes, well obviously I then put the new note in the old note and then I suddenly see whatever the old notes were and then I can process them if I decide to make an active project. The close block is quite nice though, even though I don't quite know how I would use it. You are also overlooking the outline functions in Logseek. Okay, do explain, what is an outline app? Well, you can like, outline big picture projects, so you sort of know what's going on. So bullet points with indents and headers that you can fold open and closed. Yeah, Obsidian can do all of that. But you can't go into the bullet points. True, there is a community plugin that allows you to do that, but I don't personally like that feature. But, and I also don't like bullet points for all of the things that I'm writing down, I like to be able to split them up by lines and then indent them if I need to, leaving spaces for different ideas, and then saving bullet points for specific lists that I actually want to highlight, rather than everything being a bullet point. You can do that in Logsy! Yeah, but the backlinks and linking displays and queries look a bit off, and then when you actually go into the page, because it's all one block, it shows you everything, so you see all of the brackets and all the mess, which makes live preview or the what you see, what you get editor basically useless. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that one. In addition to that, in Obsidian you have an outline core plugin, so it automatically takes the headings and then you can move them around, so you can move sections around using the outline plugin, which I don't think you have in Logseek yet. Now you're just being mean. I told you, I'm biased. Fine. Wait, hold on, I'm not done. I do like the flexibility you get with being able to change the hotkeys, just like in Obsidian, because not many other apps actually allow you to do that. Being nice now. 
It can also be Markdown based and allows you to add community plugins, CSS themes, just like Obsidian. Yeah, so you can use both apps off the same notes folder. Yeah, that is what I've been sharing on screen. Ah, Logseek on one side and then Obsidian on the other side. Yep, from the same folder. Nice. The switching between graphs, which is essentially the main folder, is actually quite nice on the browser and in the app. Yeah, what do you think of the desktop app? It's okay, still got a little bit of work to do, it's slow in place, it's a little bit clunky in places, but it works. You're not swapping then? No, no, Obs Obsidian has got a mobile app, a tablet app, works very well on PC, and from what I can see, the speed is actually better in Obsidian when compared to Logseek because of the, the development stage, maybe, of the Logseek app, but yeah, that's my preference. Yet, because the team are doing a great job at developing at speed. Agreed, they are doing a really good job and developing very, very quickly, but Obsidian is also developing very quickly. Good competitors. Anything else you want to mention? Only that the PDF workflow could be a little bit challenging depending on where you store PDFs, how you want to save PDFs, where you edit PDFs and that sort of thing with the workflow, but that's going to be personal. Then there's the aliases and moving aliases over to Obsidian. Logsig currently, to my knowledge, doesn't have aliases, so the aliases are actually seen as new pages, which they're not, they're just names to the same page. And then I do want to say the community on Discord are really helpful, really friendly, really useful, and I will be in there asking how to move forwards with the Logsig because I'm not going to leave it behind because it's a very interesting app. But I'm not going to use it in place of Obsidian. But if you do use the app, I would love to hear in the comment section below how you use it, whether in line with Obsidian, like together with Obsidian, or instead of Obsidian, and just explain that conversation down in the comment section below. So I will see you all there.